Tragic news coming in as Israel has now confirmed that 23-year-old Shani Lok, who was part of the Nova Music Festival, has been found dead in Gaza. Israel has confirmed that her body has been recovered and identified. Shani was abducted from that music festival, tortured and paraded around by Hamas terrorists. Uh, she experienced unfathomable horrors as her limbs were broken. Terrorists spat on her, but there were updates coming in that she was critical but kept in a hospital. Now, the confirmation from Israel is that they've recovered her body. Shani's family members have repeatedly been putting out statements, appeals, video messages saying any updates on Shani would be appreciated. Gaurav Samanth is joining us with more details on this. Gaurav, another grim, grim reminder of the horrors that Israel uh, witnessed on October 7th. Shani Lok, her pictures went viral of her partying away merrily and then moments later being abducted, being held captive by Hamas terrorists has been found dead. The 23-year-old was at the Nova Music Festival at RIM. Uh, those pictures then, an image that actually horrified the world. Uh, several Hamas terrorists uh, armed to the teeth had uh, her, uh, you know, uh, her body uh, with very few clothes on, uh, you know, face down in that pickup truck. Uh, and, and those images, we've blurred some of those images um, as you see them. Now, these images had horrified the world, however... Her family were of the opinion that there was some movement in her uh, body. They were of the opinion uh, she was still alive. Uh, there was hope that uh, she would be repatriated. A lot of prayers and messages had gone out uh, uh, even to Hamas asking them to release her. She was all of 23. She was at that music festival. And now uh, Israeli forces um, in the past three days as they've carried out a number of... Uh, search, uh, seek uh, uh, operations and, and searching for hostages, her body has also been recovered and this is truly heartbreaking uh, as the Israeli authorities put out that, uh, the, you know, they, they were able to recover her body um, and unfortunately not, not alive. Uh, there were hope for she was alive. Uh, I just interviewed Israel's ambassador to India, Ambassador Naur Gilon, and he said their hope was that the, uh, the roughly 230 uh, hostages, they'd be repatriated as of yesterday and not today. All efforts are on to bring them back safe. The responsibility, yeah. of course, that of Hamas to ensure that they are safe. Unfortunately, she was not. All of 23. Yeah, almost two days after that uh, horrifying video which we're showing on our screens right now of Shani being kept face down in a truck being taken as her hair is being pulled by those Hamas terrorists. Two days after that, there was some information that trickled in that she was critical in a hospital but very much alive, which is what led to repeated video appeals from her family members saying any information about Shani's condition would be appreciated. But for the rest of the family members of hostages who are watching this Gaurav, they're going to be very, very uh, sad. You know, they're not going to be sure about what the condition, the plight of their loved ones is right now. You're absolutely right. Um, you know, a number of the patients, uh, there, a number of the elderly especially, are now without their medicines. And they've been in custody since the 7th uh, of October. So 24 days and counting without their medicines. Um, uh, we do not know what their condition is. Uh, a lot of effort being made through back channels. Again, that's a point that Ambassador Gilon also raised. Um, the youngest person to be abducted was all of nine months old. The oldest, 85, a Holocaust survivor. She, of course, was released uh, along with another woman uh, who was 80 years old. However, their husbands are still being kept hostages again in their, uh, in their 80s. There are toddlers, teenagers, women, uh, children, the elderly. There are also military personnel in these 230. Do keep in mind there are also 100 plus who are still unaccounted for. So we do not know if this number is 230 or could even be higher. And that is why Israel is very keen. Uh, the United States, the United Kingdom, several other countries are working uh, through interlocutors, uh, whether it, it's with Qatar or, or with Iran, a conversation on to at least repatriate the hostages uh, as quickly as possible. But that seems to be easier said than done because Iran says stop bombing, hostages will be released. Israel says bombing will continue till mm -hmm. the time hostages are released. So it's very, very tough for the families. And I've interviewed a number of those families in Tel Aviv who are very keen that a prisoner exchange be done. If Hamas wants 6,000 Palestinians back, 
they should be repatriated for 230 plus Israelis to be returned. It remains to be seen what steps does the Israel government actually take from this point on. Uh, you know, Gaurav, there was this narrative that Hamas is treating these hostages extremely well, that they're being kept in the best possible conditions in some of the tunnels uh, that Hamas terrorists also occupy. This particular image and what's happened with Shani will essentially lead to questions about whether that's true at all, about the plight of these hostages, how they're being treated. Of course, the focus again will be on the kind of atrocities of many of these women being paraded semi-naked on the streets of Gaza reportedly and a terrorists committing all sorts of atrocities with them. Akshita, you're absolutely right. Uh, you remember that uh, first image that was uh, sent out uh, by, by Hamas uh, where a young girl was, uh, uh, you know, a bandage was being uh, applied on, on her, her hand was being bandaged. Well, that instance, the fear in her eyes, she was constantly looking uh, perhaps at her abductors, perhaps with their weapons uh, cocked. We do not know uh, why was there so much fear uh, on her face. The fact that they were kept in some underground dungeons, that's the information. Now there are several international um, you know uh, entities and individuals who deal who negotiate uh, you know for hostages uh, for their release they are also in touch uh, with the uh, privately personally or through governments to ensure certain hostages are released an effort is being made at multiple levels but are they being kept in various dungeons in various tunnels where are they being kept are they being kept as a human shield for top hamas military leadership in that area there are apprehensions that some may be in very bad health hamas claims some were killed in aerial bombing israel says all those killed are also hamas responsibility so it's a very tricky situation from this point on to ensure that those who are alive are repatriated as quickly as possible with this news coming in of Shani Lok's uh, death, of her body being recovered, do you see a change of strategy by Israel Gaurav? Uh, there was a lot of talk that the Gaza invasion was stalled, was held off because of dialogue on the hostage crisis and to ensure their safe return. With this death, do you think Israel could once again pause the invasion in any way? You know, um, Israel will probably intensify bombing uh, of the Gaza Strip. And mm. uh, Israel, uh, you know, they, they are very aggressive and they will not be weakened. They've already lost 1,400 people, uh, 200 plus held hostage, 2,000 plus injured. Um, they, their pride in tatters. So they will not bend, they will not buckle. Um, Israelis say they're fighting this war as much as for themselves as they are for the democratic world. Because if the impression is that Hamas has won, it will lead to a lot of other radical Islamist terrorist organizations across the world thinking that this is their moment and they will replicate what Hamas did in various countries, in various other democracies. Already you see some signs of terrorists getting active in different parts of the world. So that is why Israel, of course, insists that they want to ensure Hamas is defeated, Hamas is decimated. This is a lot of pain when it comes to hostages. They're trying to negotiate their release, but they're unlikely to ease on the bombing uh, just to secure the release of the hostages. All right, Gaurav, thanks very much for joining us. Heartbreaking news really coming in as Israel has confirmed that Shani Lok, whose picture you see there, happy moments before enjoying at the Nova Music Festival, she was abducted, she was tortured, she was uh, paraded in that truck face down through the streets of Gaza as terrorists celebrated. Now Israel has confirmed that they found her body, her remains will be taken back to her family members.